in the past, the hope I put into supplements was great. We need help to fight multiple sclerosis. So I understand the frustration of living with multiple sclerosis when it seems to control our every move, every aspect of our life. I do take supplements for supplementation purposes only, for example. They say, and now that I do, I can confirm it's true. You should aim for 7,200 milligrams of potassium daily. Even though my diet is rich in plant-based foods, I only get 1,923 milligrams. So I supplement the other 5,250 milligrams with supplements. Even though the desire is, is there to change MS, can, can supplements, supplements do it? Are we craving supplements for supplementation purposes like me? Or are we desperate to change our MS and hope supplements can do that? Hey, it's Steve. I got a comment the other day from David P asking me if I've tried the Coimbra protocol. Sorry, I've never heard of it. So I looked it up and it's basically a high dose vitamin D treatment. I'm always asked about vitamin D. So much so I purchased a vitamin D testing kit to get my actual numbers. I acquired a drop of my own blood and sent it to a lab for scientific analysis. The results came back and my vitamin D was in normal range. So I believe the hype of vitamin D is overblown. D3 is just a symptom of a bigger disease. Taking a D3 pill will look good on paper, but it's not a cure and it won't affect by, uh, multiple sclerosis at all. The real cure is found in ultraviolet light specifically ultraviolet B light. I maintain an entire playlist about UVB. The journey to discover this was riddled with so many questions I had. What convinced me is a scientific paper. It had a major impact on me. Do you want to read it? I'll put it down, a uh, link to it down in the description. It's called How UV Light Touches the Brain and Endocrine System Through the Skin and Why. The lamp I personally own now is no longer for sale, but I recently made a video outlining other lamps, UVB lamps, that are available for sale, so it, they're still available online. Exposure to the light achieves results by using cells in the skin called carotenocytes. Exposure causes them, these carotenocytes, to shut down the immune system attack that drives MS. While this is going on, vitamin D is also produced in the skin. So it's not vitamin D per se, it's uh, merge the two. It's a confluence of two different rivers to form one complete strategy. But in that strategy, the, I don't. There is no vitamin D three pill. Getting back to supplements, I have a full cabinet full of them, but they're not to fight MS. 
I found my MS escape. And I'm showing you how. Doing the five essential elements for years will get you there. Now I take them, my, the supplements, to keep everything running at peak performance. So getting to the peak performance, my favorite supplement. I take it every other day. <laughs> I look forward to taking it. It boosts my energy and clears my mind and focuses my energy. I honestly feel it's making an impact on myelin formation. It's called BPC-157 or Body Protective Compound 157. It's a peptide that I use for myelin recovery. A peptide is a chain of amino acids. Since BPC-157 sequence doesn't exist naturally in nature, the compound is considered synthetic, hence a supplement. I'm taking the supplement and I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. BPC-157 decreases inflammation in the body no matter where it is. That means lower inflammation up here in the central nervous system. Even though I have increased muscle mass due to increased in growth hormone receptors, it's not for vanity. Muscle is shown to pump out vast amounts of anti-inflammatory cytokines, which fight MS. I'm not done yet. The benefits keep going. There is even protection in cells when the body is un er undergoing stress. <laughs> now I read that one. I personally, I ne I'm never stressed out. It's just never been in my nature. I've also read that it heals symptoms from leaky gut, but if you're doing OMAD, like I, like um, I constantly made videos about, I you might not have to worry about leaky gut. It might also help in the rejuvenation of the liver. But regarding all this, among all the things BPC-157 can do, let's talk about what MS patients really desire, really crave. Myelin creation, right? This paper, Peptide therapy with pentadecap peptide BPC-157 in traumatic nerve injury was done in rats. BPC-157 rats exhibited faster axonal regeneration, increased density and size of regenerative fibers and nerves showed increased diameter of myelinated fibers, thickness of myelin sheath, number of myelinated fibers per area and myelinated fibers as a percentage of the entire nerve. <laughs> so all great stuff. All of this is happening now put in my head. No wonder, no wonder I feel so great. There, there, is, there might be a little there are some downsides. Two, one price and two availability. Depending on where you live, it might be hard to get your hands on the supplement. And also two, the price is fairly big, but when you consider it every bottle it lasts a month, it, it, it depends on how much you're willing to invest in your recovery. I can only say it's worth it for me. And it's your choice. So let me ask you, are you using BPC-157 since watching the last video I made about it? If you are, why don't you let me know down in the comments about your experience? 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.